Good day, this is Donna Lea P. Buendia, and our topic for today is about the manual computation of Cronbach's alpha, which is the internal consistency. So Cronbach's alpha is actually how we measure the internal consistency, and this is uh, usually used for non-dichotomous items. Okay? So you will see from here uh, the symbol that we use for the Cronbach's alpha and also the formula. So it's k divided by k minus 1 multiplied to the s squared y minus summation of s squared i divided by s squared y. Okay, so k is actually the number of items provided. Okay, es squared i is the sum of the variances of each item. So as you know, we are going to use the, the formula variance for, for uh, the computation of Cronbach's alpha. S squared Y is the variance of the total column. So let's have a sample here. So um, we have uh, three items, right? Uh, first column is item 1, second column is item 2, third column is item 3. So the first step is you need to get the total for each row. Okay, 6 plus 6 plus 8 equals 20, 5 plus 5 plus 6 is 16. 9 plus 8 plus 6 equals 23. 3 plus 2 plus 4 is 9. 2 plus 3 plus 2 is 7. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. 5 plus 4 plus 6 equals 15. The next step is to compute the sample variance for item 1. Okay, So you just have to copy item 1 here. Okay, And of course... As I have said, we need the formula of the sample variance. So this is the formula okay, that we discussed uh, in our previous lectures. So V is equal to the summation of X1 minus mean squared divided by N minus 1. Okay? So uh, you have to uh, get the mean first. right? So here on this column, you just have to copy uh, the items provided. So, you just have to copy it there. Okay. So, to get the mean, you have you need to get the sum or the summation of this column divided by the total number of items. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, it's, the n is equals to 7. Okay. And then, now, when you uh, do that, you will get uh, the mean, which is 4.43. Okay. And n equals 7. So, for this column, you have to subtract the mean from the x1, okay? So, 6 minus 4.43 is 1.57. 5 minus 4.43 is 0.57. 9 minus 4.43 is 4.57. So, you have to do that for the rest of the uh, remaining numbers here, okay? Now, for this column, uh, you have to square what you get from this column, okay? So, 1.57 squared is 2.46. So, how do you do that? 1.57 multiplied by itself is 2.46. 0. 0.57 times 0. 0.57 is 0. 0.32. 4. 0.57 times 4. 0.57 is 20.88. Negative 1.43 times negative 1.43 is equals to positive 2.04. Okay? Negative 2.43 uh, multiplied by itself is 5.9. Same as with here. Okay? So, uh, you have also, you need also to uh, get the summation for this column. So, you have to add all of this and you will get 43.68. Okay? So, now, we have to substitute the formula with the numbers that we have computed, okay? So, for this, summation of x1 minus mean squared, that would be this one, uh, okay? So, the summation, that would be 43.68, you put it here, over n, that would be 7 minus 1, okay? So, when you perform the calculation, you will get a variance of 7.29. So, that is the sample variance for item 1. Okay, so this is the continuation for the computation of a sample variance for item number 2. You just have to do the same thing uh, on what you have done to the item number 1. 
So you have to copy the items uh, listed there in uh, in our given data. Okay, so this is for item two. Okay, and then uh, you need to calculate the mean. So you have to add all of this divided by seven. You get four point fourteen. So n is equal seven. Okay, and then you have to subtract the mean from this column from each of this column. So six minus four point fourteen is one point eight six. Five minus four point fourteen is zero point eight six. And you have to do that for all the numbers here. Okay. And of course, for this column, you know what to do. Alright. So uh, you have to square these uh, numbers okay, in this column. So 1.86 squared is 3.46. 0.86 squared is 0.74 and so on. Okay. So next you have to get the summation. So you have to add all of this and you'll get 34.86. Now, it's time for you to substitute the numbers with the formula. So, for this one, you have 34.86, right? Divided by n, which is 7, minus 1, so 7 minus 1. So, do the calculation and you will get 5.81. That is the sample variance for item number 2. And, of course, it is still the same for item number 3, okay? So, list down the items in item, item number 3. Okay, copy-paste in the side, all right, and then get the mean. So, the mean is 4.86, the, the n is 7, okay. So, subtract this mean from this, from uh, each data in this column, and then you will get uh, these answers. And then you have the squared, okay, the, the numbers here. So, 3.14 squared is 9.86, and so on. Next, get the summation, so 30.86. So you have to substitute again the, the numbers to the formula. So 30.86 divided by 7 minus 1. So you will get a variance of 5.14. That would be the sample variance for item number 3. Okay, so uh, you have to uh, get the variance also for the total. So... You have to copy the total. Remember, uh, in the first step, you have to compute the total. So, you just have to copy-paste it here and here and get the mean. So, the mean is 13.43. The n is 7. Okay, and then uh, subtract it from this column. And then you will get these answers. Okay, and then uh, squared, okay, these uh, numbers. So, 6.57 squared is 43.16 and so on. And then get the summation to 93.68. Okay, substitute it here. Okay, 293.68 divided by 7 minus 1. You will get, okay, this um, answer for 48.95. That would be the sample variance for total. Okay, so how to compute the Cronbach's alpha, right? So, uh, as you can see, I already listed down here the variance that we have computed for item 1, item 2, item 3, and for the total. Okay? So, remember, uh, this is the formula for Cronbach's alpha. Okay? How do you get the K? So, this is the total number of items. How many items do we have? 1, 2, and 3. So, the K is equals to 3. Okay? S squared 1 is actually uh, the total variance... Okay, this, the, the total uh, sample variance for, uh, for what we have computed a while ago, which is 48.95, okay? And the summation of uh, S squared I is actually the summation for the variance of each item, okay? That would be 7.29 plus 7.81 plus uh, 5.14, so this... So, to get it, you just have to add all of those, okay? So, after you get these um, numbers, you have to substitute it, right? Okay, so since we already have um, this uh, calculations, we need to substitute uh, these numbers to our formula. So, k, k is equals to 3. And then k minus 1, that would be 3 minus 1, okay? Don't forget the parentheses. Alright, so 
Uh, next is S squared Y. That would be 48.95 here. Minus summation of S squared I. Okay. So summation of S squared I is 18.24. So put it here. Right. Okay. So next is this one is divided by K minus 1. So 3 minus 1. This one is divided by S squared Y. So what again is S squared Y? It's 48.95. Okay, so we have now uh, this um, numbers, a substitution to the formula. So we just have to perform the mathematical operation. So 3 divided by 2 equals 1.5. Okay, so when you deduct this, you can get 30.71 okay, divided by 48.95, and then you will get 0.63. Okay, so next you have to multiply the 2, 1.5 times 0.63, okay, so the Cronbach Alpha is 0.95, right? So how are we going to interpret the Cronbach Alpha? Let's check from here. Okay, so our Cronbach Alpha is greater than 0.9 because we got 0.95. So it means that the Cronbach Alpha of our uh, items is excellent okay high stakes testing right and if your uh, Cronbach alpha is between 0.8 to 0.9 it's good it's good 0.7 to 0.8 that would be acceptable 0.6 to 0.7 it's questionable 0.5 to 0.6 is poor and less than 0.5 that would be unacceptable okay so that's all thank you if you have any questions just send me a message